Okay, so now uh, we're going to demonstrate how to throw off your bovi and suction. Notice that I said it in the order in which you will pass it off. You first wanna pass off your bovi cord because you're gonna need the bovi in a case before you need the suction. We have to make an incision with a skid knife and then usually the bovi will follow. So this is the first thing you'll use and we won't have anything to suck up until we make an incision and start boving and, and start creating uh, you know, blood and, and body fluids uh, you know, coming up to the surface and that sort of thing. So um, notice that this is how the bovi comes. It comes already in its holster. Okay, the other thing I wanted to mention too, what I do is I completely take it completely out of the holster. Now, this is the point at which you will have to know in your case whether you keep this regular tip that it comes on or whether we need to exchange this tip for a Teflon tip if in fact that's on the surgeon's preference card. When a lot of bowing is being done, um, most surgeons will use a Teflon tip because remember, if you have this tip, you need a bovi scratch, okay? Which we'll get in just a moment to show you. And if you have the Teflon tip, you do not need a scratch because the Teflon tip, it's kind of, the Teflon tip is like your non-stick cookware at home. You know how it's just easier to wipe it down and you don't have to use a, a scrub pad. You know, you wouldn't because you would ruin the, the uh, non-stick. That's the same principle with this. So if you have a Teflon tip on this and you always, if when you do switch out the tips, you wanna use a lap sponge or something. You don't wanna use just your fingers because you might poke a hole. So if we're going to remove it, I'm going to remove it like that and then put in the Teflon tip, okay? But I'm just gonna put it back in there. All right, so that's the first thing to know. So um, I'm going to show you what the scratch pad looks like that goes with this type of tip. So this type of tip, you would use the scratch pad. The Teflon. the Teflon tip, let me take that off. I want you to see the difference between the regular tip and this is the Teflon tip. Notice the difference. Remember, this is the non-stick one, okay? So again, let me just mimic removing this. Remember, you wanna use a Raytec or a lap sponge. This is a countable item, so I'm gonna place it there and then I'm going to replenish it with this Teflon tip. So if we have the Teflon tip, we do not need this scratch. So you can get rid of the scratch. That's another countable item, by the way, okay? So we have the Teflon tip. All right, so back to how to throw off your bovi cord. Now, it comes as such. This is the part that hooks into the ESU unit. So this is the part you have to pass off. This is obviously the bovi pencil. This is the part that needs to remain on your sterile field for obvious reasons. This is what the surgeon is gonna use to bovi and he holds it like a pencil. Notice I even call it a bovi pencil. All right, so when you're gonna pass this off, remember uh, you're already moved up to the field, the patient is draped out, and this is the first thing you wanna pass off. So what I do is I orient myself knowing that this has to stay here and this part has to hook into the bovi unit itself. So what I do, remember, you wanna stay low when you do this. You don't wanna be up here. You wanna stay low. I'm going to open this up and the best rule of thumb, now this is probably going to get uh, twisted up a little. It usually does. So what I do is I go one and a half arm lengths, okay? And then I go under here, okay? And then I'm going to pass off this end to my circulator, okay? All right, now, the minute I lay this down, okay, and usually the best rule of thumb is to keep this on your mayo, okay? I want to secure it because this will fall off. So notice I'm putting the bobby cord there. I'm grabbing, grabbing two sides of the drape. I'm using a non-perforating towel clip and I'm going to secure it. 
Now, most people will also incorporate the Bovi holster in that. So if you're gonna do that, okay, we're going to hold it in there and then the Bovi cord, the Bovi pencil can be put into the Bovi holster, okay? Usually the Bovi holster is kept somewhere on the patient. Some people might also place this on their mayo like this, okay? Same thing, just kind of put it there. Okay, so it just hangs like that. So that way, and then when you pass this to the surgeon, you're gonna smooth it out and place it in their in their in their hand. Okay, some kind of way. And that it would yeah. still be secured to the drape as well. Yes, and this would still be secured to the drape. So I would need a second non-perforating towel clip because you don't want this bony cord falling off of the field, okay? All right, so if I'm gonna do that, all right? So notice how much I have up here. It's really one and a half. Um, you always want to do a little more because you can't ever bring back any of this that I passed off. You can never bring that back onto the sterile field, okay? Mm -hmm. But that's a good length of how much to have. Okay, if you can see that. Okay. Um, now, that's the bow. Remember, we need to pass that off first. Second thing you're going to pass off is the suction. When you are setting up, and I covered this when I did the sample setup, you realize that this suction tubing is going to come separately in your pack from your Yankower suction tip or your pool suction tip. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and affix that Yankower suction tip to the suction tubing, okay? And then I go ahead and I remove this paper tape. And then same principle here. This is the part I'm gonna pass off to the circulator. Obviously, this is the part with the suction tip that stays on my sterile field. So same thing here, this one's a little bit easier. I'm going to stay low and I'm gonna do one, and a half, I'm gonna place it under there, and, and notice I'm holding this up for the circulator. Some people, before, uh, uh, one moment, Ms. Perry. Mm -hmm. Some people will just do this if you'll let go mm -hmm. of it. it. It's courteous to pass this like this to your, to your circulator, but some people will just do this. It just depends, your, your circulator not, 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 might not be near at the time. So now the next thing I wanna do is immediately do what? I wanna secure this suction tubing in the same, see, the same track as the bovi cord, okay? So you can see it's in there, okay? So you can see how much, how much we have here, okay? And whoops, cannot fall off the field. And we can also set that in the bogey holster as well. I would, that's already putting a hole in that. This is why it's usually best if this is on the patient somehow, okay? That would be secured a little better there, okay? Rather than hanging on your mayo because it will make a hole as you can see there. So it's probably best practice or you could, when you do it, you can incorporate it in both of these and that would help with that as well, okay? Where they may have an instrument pouch. Yes, yes, there might be an instrument pouch which we will show you in just a moment. Okay, incorporate all that in there like that. So an instrument pouch has just been uh, aseptically, aseptic technique uh, added to my field. This is an instrument pouch. Notice that it has adhesive on the back and on the bottom. This is something when you remove that adhesive that will be placed somewhere on your sterile field like this. Notice that this Bovi holster fits perfectly in that pouch. That's the intended purpose is to hold this. So this is another way of securing the Bovi and suction for that matter 
This is a good way of securing the bovine and suction on your field without using a non-perforating towel clip to secure it to the drape. So it's either or. You either are gonna use this instrument pouch or you're going to use a non-perforating towel clip to affix it the way I previously uh, demonstrated. And that is throwing off your bovie and then your suction.